here at CES 2026, robots once again dominated the show floor. From industrial warehouses to your own living room, AI and robotics have converged in ways that are reshaping how we live and work. Here's a closer look at who's leading the robot revolution. First up is Boston Dynamics. The company has been defining the future of robotics for decades. From viral videos of robots doing backflips to their commercial Spot Robot, they've captured the world's imagination. Now they're unveiling their most ambitious product yet, the all-new Atlas Humanoid Robot. We are so excited to be launching our newest version of Atlas, which was really specifically designed to do industrial work and was designed in collaboration from all of our customers' feedback that we received and all of the different types of people that want to use Atlas in their facilities. Atlas stands six feet, two inches tall with a vertical reach of seven and a half feet, allowing it to grab objects from top shelves and reach low to the ground. The robot is built for the most demanding environments, operating in temperatures from negative four to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. What we're really designing this robot for is to actually be able to do the hardest work in a facility. We're lifting 110 pounds at our max capacity and 66 pounds as a, at a continuous rate. We're not just saying we're doing challenging tasks, we're building a superhuman robot that can do the most backbreaking work. But raw strength is only part of the equation. Boston Dynamics has announced a major partnership with Google DeepMind to supercharge Atlas's cognitive abilities. Our partnership with DeepMind enables Atlas to be much more general purpose. So our goal of that partnership is to build a brain for Atlas that has out of the box intelligence. So the process of deploying the robot is much faster because the robot shows up smarter. And then the additional training you need to do once you get on site to get the robot up and running is way shorter. I visited one facility where a woman was picking up stacks of cardboard boxes and weighed about 50 to 60 pounds and she's moving them continuously for eight to 12 hours a day. That task is not able to be automated today with existing automation or technology. And so I talked to her and her team and they said, yeah, she's amazing at this job. And so we wanna move her to an area where she's going to be doing way more impactful work that's a lot more interesting. And so th those were the stories that stood out to me in industrial environments that is really where we want Atlas to be. Boston Dynamics isn't the only company betting big on humanoid robots for industry. Meet Humanoid, a rapidly growing company with 200 engineers building what they call the future of work. Their alpha robot is already being deployed in factories across the world. We have wheels and we have already can deploy with the current certification and we will catch the market faster because it's a lot of problems with the safety and regulation and our robot we can already deploy across all industrial. The company is leveraging NVIDIA's robotics platform for everything from computing to AI training. We are adding every month a new additional use case. We want to cover all industrial use case in the next two years. One of Humanoid's biggest partners is German auto supplier Schaeffler. They say deploying these humanoids into existing infrastructures is often seamless. With a humanoid form factor, uh, basically you can roll into an uh, existing workplace. The big part is really say AI-based training. So this gives us a great amount of flexibility to use these robots on multiple different applications throughout the whole value stream. So starting from logistics, material handling, going to assembly processes, also quality inspection and packaging. Rich Tech Robotics started in hospitality with robots serving food and drinks. But their newest creation, called DAX, marks their ambitious expansion into industrial automation. DAX is the newest addition to our lineup. So he is a two-armed humanoid robot that is mobile and also stationary. DAX, he's accelerated by NVIDIA technology, meaning he's able to see his environment, he's able to perceive what's going on around him and make intelligent decisions on the fly. So what that allows him to do is to be able to work with machinery, work with tools to complete uh, manufacturing tasks. He can also pick up objects and examine them for quality assurance um, and essentially he's meant to work alongside humans to automate the dull, dirty and dangerous. The company believes that DAX's vertical track system is a game changer for warehouse and manufacturing environments. He's going to be able to see his environment and then adjust to the height that he needs to go to to be able to complete his task. And at over 100 years old, Oshkosh Corporation is proof that innovation knows no age. From firefighting vehicles to construction equipment, Oshkosh builds machines for the people doing the world's toughest and most dangerous jobs. 
At CES, CEO John Pfeiffer showed us how autonomy is transforming the airport of tomorrow. We all go on airplanes all the time. When you come into a gate or you're leaving a gate, you always see the wing walker, the human being out there with a, with a wand. And if it's at night, it's usually lit up and they're you know, moving the airplane in. This does it autonomously. That's a dangerous job. Sometimes there are not enough people on the tarmac of the airport to do it. Sometimes that's why it takes longer to get into your gate than you want it to take. Well, with these, these autonomously will precisely bring aircraft in and out of gates. That's really nice advancements for the airlines and for the people working on the tarmac that can do more important tasks other than waving that wand in a dangerous environment next to a jet. You'll see it hook up the HVAC and the, the, the ground power. An airplane comes into the gate, they shut the engines down, and for that 25 minutes, it's connected to power and, air, and HVAC on the ground. You'll see an autonomous robot do that as well. Another task that's repetitive, easier for a robot to do than a human being. There's almost endless opportunities, even beyond airports, where we're applying this type of robot to help work get done more effectively. But these robots aren't just about industrial might. At CES, we're seeing a new frontier, companion robots designed for human connection. Realbotics, based in Las Vegas, have created the only robots at CES that look, speak, and interact like humans. There's three use cases. So one, customer service. We've had them deployed at different places, selling tickets to shows. We can have them booking room service for you or massages. So customer service roles, number one. Uh, number two would be companionship. So we've been talking to seniors' homes and residences. We've been talking to people that have, for example, autistic kids, where they can interact with them. And uh, the last would be entertainment, where they can be sort of think about like a Madame Tussauds on steroids. We can make our robots look and sound like anyone on the planet and actually provide and have intelligent conversations with them. Big shout out to Chris. May your circuits never short and your coffee always be strong, unlike my battery life. What really sets Realbotics apart is the company's complex vision system. The robots can actually look at you and it's not just observational, what they can do is recognize your facial expressions. Is this person happy, sad, angry? They can recognize if someone's in danger and add a brain to the vision. It's more than just seeing, it's being able to intelligently react to it. And while most of these humanoid robots tower over humans, Chinese startup Xeroth is taking a different approach. Smaller, safer robots designed specifically for the family home. They want to build the world's first humanoid robot like that can use in the family. It's a consumer-based humanoid robot. Most of the humanoid robot now is very large and very huge, so may not very safety during the room. So for the elder people, it can do the companion and do the safety control. If they feel done, it will call for the emergency people. And it's for, for the child, we can do the education and we can do some like, also for the mental health check, these kind of things. At a starting price of $3,000, Xeroth's smallest robot, the M1, is already available for purchase. It's only 50 centimeters high and 2.5 kilograms. So it's very safety, even for the past, even for the younger child. And perhaps the most transformative technology in robotics is giving them the sense of human touch. Japanese startup Zila has developed tactile sensors that can be integrated into any robotic hand or gripper. It's the missing piece that could unlock the next generation of robotic capability. The sensors can detect weight, hardness, and even the shape of objects, critical for handling items the robot has never encountered before. For example, in factory automation, when you want to insert uh, RAM into the motherboard, there would be, uh, with, with vision alone, there can be some, uh, slight misalignments. Uh, but with a sense of touch, you can feel if you're in the right place, uh, how much force you're applying, and then you can do the insertion task without the risk of breaking anything. Other applications would be, for example, fruit picking, fruit sorting. When you pick the fruit, you don't want to damage it. Then you also want to uh, sort it according, for example, to weight and ripeness. Um, in the future, we also work towards humanoid robots that work yeah, in your house. Yeah. After walking the floor at CES 2026, one thing was abundantly clear. The AI robot revolution is no longer science fiction. It's happening now across every single industry. The only question remains is how quickly we can adapt to this new reality. For Cheddar, I'm Chris Castellino.